Hello gardening friends. I'm out here in the garden. I am pulling some weeds and putting them in my weed bucket and then I fill it with water, get the dirt rinsed off, make sure I'm not killing any worms and then I pour it back over my cardboard. So um, we'll get a peek at the garden in just a second because there are some things looking pretty cool. Um, but I'm gonna plant today some quinoa. My friend Elizabeth at Richie Husky Farms up in Arkansas. Check her out, I'm gonna link her channel if you don't already follow her. She's a friend of mine, gardening soul sister. And last year she sent me quinoa and we grew it together and it was really fun. So she said, you wanna do that again? I said, yeah. So she sent me rainbow, brightest brilliant rainbow quinoa. So. This is cool and I'm excited and this time I'm actually going to eat the quinoa. I still have my quinoa from last year that I need to eat, but I eat quinoa. I just, I ate it just a couple days ago. I love it. Um, I'm also going to plant some flax. So I'm just trying out different grains to see what's easiest to grow because it's good to have a grain to grow. I grew wheat, but I didn't do anything with it. So yeah, just trying stuff out. So I'll give you a little peek at the garden and then we'll plant some seeds and that'll be it. All right, so this is where I'm gonna plant them. I have one row here that is peppers and tomatoes and they need a fence. And then I have um, strawberries in those three rows. You can see some strawberries coming out already. Um, but I have two empty rows, so I'm gonna use this one here. And I'm gonna put the quinoa here. So these are just dig and flip, if you don't know. I, I just dig and flip and then go to the other side, dig and flip. and basically make this line and it makes it like a raised you can kind of see how it's raised up right so that allows for me to a fertilize on the sides and then B keep the whatever the plant is from getting soaked and soaked when we get a lot of rain and for the strawberries the idea is for them to drop off the sides like that so they're easy to pick and they don't you know get buried so that seems to be going well all right, so let's plant some quinoa. So these, th this area was covered all winter with mulch, um, but I've uncovered it just a little bit ago, so it's a little dried out. But once these come up, I will mulch again. All right, so they're supposed to be burgundy, green, orange, pink, white, and yellow. Quarter inch deep after last frost, six to 12 inches apart. Prefers warm days and cool evenings. I can't promise the cool evenings, but I got you on the warm days. Last year when I grew these, I grew them way out at my faraway garden. So this time I'll be able to keep a closer eye on them. It's not very many seeds in this seed pack. So I'm just going to loosen with my hands, try to pull out a few weeds, but I'm just going to loosen like this. I can't find my little tool to be honest, but I don't need to do much except loosen. So I'm going to loosen. And then I'm just going to scatter. Hey, can you guys chill out, please? Yeah, they should be quiet. And then I just, you know, cover it up. You enjoy a close-up here you go I wanted to um, show you another cool thing about these dig and flips is that on the side let's see if I can find a spot all along the side here I would put wood so look if you lift this up this is just a branch from a tree but it's being eaten look there's a big worm right there hey get back here get back here worm Anyways, the worms love it. It's just like, it's kind of like Hugel culture, but on the side. So 
that's a good way for me to build my soil. Okay, I'm almost to the end here. And that's another thing that's hard about, you know, having gardens outside of fences. I really don't like fences. I like to be able to walk right up to my garden. It just feels free. But you run the risk of your animals coming in and messing with your garden. So there's always positives and negatives to every choice. You choose your choose your battles. So this soil is pretty easy to work. So I'm just loosening it a little and then I've got one hand now, so. And I probably should do as an experiment, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some of the quinoa that we grew last year and I'm gonna plant it on the other row and just kinda see how the seeds that I saved did versus these new seeds. And that'll be it. So here's the seed packet. Awesome. Thanks again, Elizabeth. You rock. All right, so I found the quinoa that I grew last year and I haven't even holed it yet. I did get it off the stems, but as you can see, it's still in a bit of a hole. So I believe if I just sifted it and did this, yeah, there's the actual quinoa in there. So I am going to plant some of this in this row here and it's just one row over from that and then I'm gonna water it all in and we'll check back when it starts growing all right so I'm gonna water these in and I wanted to say that the ones that we grew last year were a cherry vanilla so those are the ones that are over there by my dogs you know doggies so we'll see the difference in the color I'm really excited I also transplanted some more tomatoes today. It was kind of a cool morning. Ooh, just got wet. Um, but not too hot of a day for a transplant, so I think that's gonna be good. So I've got tomatoes out here and then tomatoes on my one other fence in there. I'm probably only growing maybe like 10 tomatoes though, so I don't need too many. My focus is just to grow enough for our family, enough to share a little bit, but not be overwhelmed. So, I'm just going to keep it moist, you know, tomorrow I'll water it again, the next day I'll water it again, just keeping the top of it moist um, until they sprout, and then I won't have to keep it as moist. And that's, that's pretty easy style what I do, and then the cool thing about these is you can run the mower right between them, and then I just mulch around the edges. I just don't have any mulch right now because obviously I need to mow the grass. Not enough hours in the day for all the gardening that I want to do. So I'll update you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.